Welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm going to be reviewing The Flipbook by Yota. Before we do this, I'd like you to like, I'd like you to subscribe and I'd like you to press the little bell icon so you get all the notifications of when I go live. And very importantly, I'd like you to check out cardmagiccourse.com. That's my online card magic course, over 400 videos. You're going to know the spiel if you've watched these reviews before. Uh, but just in case you forgot, it's very good, but I'm slightly biased. Go and have a look at the page and read the testimonials. That's cardmagiccourse.com. There's a blog on there as well that I've just started. If you would like me to blog about anything, have any questions, I will write on there. That's for non-members of blog. That's for everybody. Uh, but you get all your videos, your live weekly sessions, Zoom sessions, and uh, loads and loads for your, your very, very modest monthly fee, which is about the same price as a coffee a week for all that stuff. So there you go. Uh, learn from a pro. That's me. So this is uh, really interesting. I heard about this on a Zoom meeting, actually, Magic Circle Zoom meeting. Can't remember who it was mentioned it. And I thought, that sounds really cool. I said, yeah, it is. And then um, Eric Jones mentioned it in his live masterclass. And I thought, oh, it's something you can do, do on Zoom. And the, the effect is, it's a mix between cartoon and, of course, there's been many effects with these flipbook animations. Uh, if you don't know what cartoon is, a beautiful trick. Uh, if you're new to the game, where one of the first tricks I ever got, really, where there's a little stick man drawn on the back of a pack of cards. You name a card, uh, you flip through, there's a little flip book animation of the stick man who reaches into a hat and grabs the card that you've just named. It's beautiful, everybody loves it. I've never performed it to anybody going, no, that's all right. It's just, it really captures people. It's very sweet and uh, in, a, in a really good way. And then you've got ring flight. So ring flight is one of my favorite tricks to learn to uh, perform in close-up magic. I've done it since day one. It's a really strong trick. You borrow a ring, it ends up uh, in a wallet, or if you've got other versions of ring flight, you know, the prop dog one on your car keys. It's just great. It's there, it vanishes, it's on your keys. Stunning. It's a wonderful trick. This brings those two things together in a really lovely way. It is. So there's, you get the uh, the bot, the it's a really nice little package actually you get a little slip slip case over it um there's the box and the flip book is in the box and i'm not going to show you the whole thing but that's basically you'll get an idea of, of there's an animation in there um and what happens is you borrow a ring as in ring flight you put the ring in the box okay give it a little shake the rings in there and then the ring vanishes when they click their fingers the shake goes completely silent and then you open the book flip through and the the ring is in there or whatever you've borrowed. It's lovely, isn't it, that? I mean, it's just really lovely. The, the, it's gonna really bring people in, the whole story concept. You don't have to tell a story with it. There is a, a, a presentation of, uh, about somebody who invented a book that he draws pictures and things come to life, which is lovely in itself, isn't it? Kids are gonna love it, but adults as well. Um, and I've just written three scripts. I never write scripts for tricks, but I thought I've got to start doing it. I usually just improvise and come up with ideas and then they stick. But this, I thought this is, there's so much to this. So I've written a story script, I've written a quick script, I've written a script about what it's like when you lose things and you get so upset and if I could change anything in my life, it's been that I don't lose so much stuff, but I've got this book online, you know, it's really simple stuff, but it's just, it's just built for that kind of presentation. Uh, and it's got that really magical quality to it. And it, it feels like, even though it's bringing, bringing old ideas together, it feels like a really new thing. And Yoto, I looked on his website and has some great stuff on there. Uh, incidentally, I'd like to thank, um, Vanish and Ink sent me this, and it's not a Van Vanish and Ink product, but I said to him, look, I haven't got one, and, um, and I think it, it just seems like such a lovely trick. Why haven't I heard of it more? And they said, well, we'll send you one. So if you do, are interested in, it, interested in it, please do use the links below, just incidentally, because that's not an affiliate link. I don't get a fee, but it just it, it just sort of gives something back. I'm, I'm getting sent this stuff. Um, anyway, so the good part of this is it's it's pretty easy. It's, it's easy to do. You're not going to need any knuckle-busting sleight of hand. You don't even have to vanish the, the ring. It's all built into it for you. So that's all good. 
The only thing you're going to have to do is really think about blocking. Now, I heard Doug Diamond talk about this on his... Um, he did a interview with Damien from Vanishing Inc., which is on YouTube. I suggest you watch it. It's also on the, it's the Insider podcast, but I watched it on YouTube. And he talked about the importance of blocking and how we don't do enough blocking. And that really is where do your hands go at that exact point. We, we kind of know when we do it, when we're doing slides, but just when we're doing the other stuff. And with this, even though there's no slides as such... Your blocking is really important when you say something, where your hand goes at that point. And Yota talks you through all of this on the download. It's great. It's got everything you need. But that is the rehearsal and the side of it that you're going to have to think about. And that is what I have done. You know, I have put that ring in the box many, many, many times just to get comfortable with it. I've spent some all morning with it today. Um, and I have shown it to one other person. Obviously, I've got no footage of that. And you know, I can't do all that sort of stuff at the moment, but take my word for it. I know what it feels like to perform, and it is easy, but you have got to be mindful. You've got to rehearse this, okay? That's all I say, but super easy. Um, and it's just very, very magical. I think it's a really, really lovely piece of magic. Have a look at the, at the link and watch the, watch the video. I looked on uh, Yota's site, and hopefully, I think he might be sending me some stuff at some point. I don't know. That's not an assumption. But he kind of, he, I kind of said, oh, about the thing. And he said, have you got any of my other stuff? So I don't know. But, uh, but his stuff looks very imaginative, and it looks, it's all very cool. And this is really, um, it feels very, very new and nice. And, oh, and the only other thing I, you know, if I'm doing pros and cons, the pros is it's a brilliant trick, and everything's good about it. The cons is um, that... It's kind of, you know, because it's a book, you're going to have to take care of it. The whole thing is, is something that you can't just chuck in your case. Um, I don't mean it's, I think it's going to last a long time, but just be, you're going to have to really take care of it. You know, it is a book and books are made of paper and card. So, you know, it's, it's not as hardy as some tricks that, that you can just chuck anywhere. Uh, but there you go. Lovely one for stage and lovely one for, you know, if you've got cameras, I think, and a lovely one for, uh, for Zoom as well, which is going to make it even easier. So there you go. That's the flip book by Yota. Thank you for Vanishing Inc. Uh, to Vanishing Inc. for sending me this. And uh, do like, subscribe, check out Card Magic Course and check out the links below. Have a good one. Take care. Bye bye.